This video will show you how to create a Turnitin assignment in Moodle. Pick your topic and choose to add an activity or resource. Click on Turnitin Assignment 2. Name the assignment, give it a description if you like, then choose to display the description or not. Next, choose the submission type, file upload or text submission. Then choose the number of parts you want for the assignment and the maximum file size allowed. Choose if you want to grade the assignment anonymously. Choose if you want to allow submissions of any type. To create an originality report, Turnitin needs readable text, such as what is in a Word document, text file, PowerPoint, Excel file, etc. It cannot run a report on image files. If, however, you want to use Feedback Studio to give feedback to students that submit image files, for example, in a graphic arts class, you can choose yes to submit any file type. Choose to display the originality reports to students or not. You can choose to display the grades as fraction or percentage. You can also choose to automatically refresh the originality scores and grades or not. You can set these values as assignment defaults. Click on the arrow next to grades to access those fields. Under the grade menu, choose none, point, or scale under type. Then enter in the point value of the assignment. If you have categories in your gradebook, choose which category this assignment goes in. You can also enter a grade to pass. Click on the arrow next to Assignment Part 1 to access those fields. Enter in a name for this part if you like. Enter in the start date, due date, and post date. The post date indicates when you want your feedback to be released to your students. If you want your feedback released all at once, and you estimate that it will take you a week to grade all the papers, set the post date to be one week after the due date. If you are not worried that student 1 sees your feedback before student 2, have the post date equal the due date. Next, enter the maximum grade for this assignment. Click on the arrow next to Originality Report Options to access those fields. You can choose to allow resubmissions after the due date or not. This allows students that have not already submitted an assignment to submit once after the due date. Next, choose when to generate the originality report. There are three choices. Generate the report immediately with no resubmissions allowed. Generate reports immediately with resubmissions allowed until the due date. Or allow resubmissions until the due date, but wait to generate the reports until that due date. If you are using Turnitin as a teaching tool, you might want to choose to allow students to see the reports and to generate reports immediately and allow resubmissions until the due date. Please note that for the initial submission and the next three resubmissions, the report will generate immediately. For the fourth resubmission, there is a 24-hour delay to generate that report. Next, Choose to store the papers in the repository or not. Please note that at least one of the check against boxes needs to be checked in order to generate an originality report. The options are check against student papers, check against current and archived internet sources, and check against journals, periodicals, and publications. You can choose to exclude the bibliography from the originality report and exclude quoted material from the originality report. You can choose to exclude a match that is less than a certain number of words from the report. For example, perhaps you want to exclude matches that were less than 10 words. How this might affect an originality report score is discussed in more detail in the How to Read the Originality Report Score video. Click on the arrow next to grade mark options to access those fields. If you already have a Turnitin rubric created, you can choose it from the drop-down menu. If not, click on Launch Rubric Manager. Students will be able to see the rubric prior to submitting their assignment. This is the Rubric Manager. From the drop-down, you can choose to create a new rubric, or you can choose to import one. Turnitin can import rubrics in the form of Excel spreadsheets and RBC files. 
For this video, let's create a new rubric. Name the rubric, then enter in each criterion and scale. If you need to add a criterion, click the plus sign icon. If you need to add a scale, click the plus sign icon here. You can choose to weigh the criterion equally or not. Don't forget to set your scale. For example, I have decided that this column will be full credit and ranked as 3, and this column will be considered incomplete and ranked as 1. You can also choose to create a point space rubric, or a rubric that has no point value and is used for feedback only. When you are done, click Save. Once created, you can choose the rubric from the drop-down menu. You can enable E-Rater spelling and grammar check. Choose the handbook level from the drop-down menu. Advanced, high school, middle school, elementary school, and English learners are your choices. Next, choose the dictionary source, the U.S. English Dictionary, the U.K. English Dictionary, or both. Then choose the grammar and spelling categories you want checked. Common module settings, restrict access, and activity completion are Moodle settings that are not covered in this video. When you are done, click Save and return to course. On the home page, it indicates that a Turnitin assignment was created.